Da-da-da. Okay. So let's go load the game. If you didn't make the stream last time, basically what happened was uh, we've rescued Kanji and he's recovered. Um, now we're trying to find out who the next victim may be on the Midnight Channel. And also our first um, field trip is coming up. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let's see what people did today. People did some gardening. Oh, can we do the janitor job? Wait, can we do that? Oh, we can't go outside. All right, fine. I can't hang out with Nanako. Um, let's do some gardening. Why not? Oh, we got to harvest the vegetables. Um, I don't even think that that um, progresses time, I think. Oh, yeah. We also got our motorcycle license, too, which is super cool. Um, so I'm very, very excited. It doesn't. Yeah, it only does it if we actually just garden, right? Like we good. plant them. Excuse me. But I think harvesting. Um, also, those daikons are massive. Uh, look great how vegetables. Great vegetables. Great daikons. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I got tomato seedlings, so let's go ahead and plant some more of those. Really? I didn't know that, Mimi Choi. Well, to, I've never seen it scale with a human before, I guess. I've seen pictures of them, but yeah, big daikons. Oh my god. Um, it's been a while since I did anything like this. Oh my god. And we're really Excited bonding come in. with our uh, uncle and uh, our cousin, aka our little sis, because she keeps calling us Brick Bro, which is adorable. Uh, we also saved a dog recently, so like, you know, how can you hate a game where you go and save a runaway dog? Okay, so we did that. Um, I think my expression still has to be even higher to, like, communicate with, uh, what's it called? Who's calling us? Oh, it's Yukiko. Hello. With Dojima. Uh, I'm sorry for calling you so late, but would you like to go inside the TV tomorrow? If we practice enough, I'm sure we can be prepared for anything. Please consider it. All right. Uh, let's go here. And then let's go translate. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, you encountered a joke that you don't understand. What should you do? Uh, make up a joke instead. If the literal translation's not working. Oh, no. Rip. I tried. Apparently, not good at making a translating joke. Do, 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 do. Yo! What's up, Chie? What do you think will show up on the Midnight Channel next? I heard it's gonna rain this evening, but it's not gonna last all night. Hey, have you been trying to solve the case on your own in your spare time? I know I should be thinking about it too, but that kind of stuff just isn't my specialty. How about you? Um, thinking hurts my brain. Me too. I moved before I think. Well, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. I'll stick to kicking things. Times like this are perfect for working out. Hey, Sims Mage. Class has ended for today. Alrighty. Oh, we can still go... Yeah, okay, we can go ride our scooter. Um, let's do that. Let's go back into town. I want to go ride on my scooter, please. Is there anything else I want to do in town right now? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, let's ride around the neighborhood. Do it. Last time we ended up at the train station. So let's see where we show up this time. The Samagawa floodplain, it looks like. We're zooming. <laughs> After getting lost, you reach the hill overlooking town, but you feel as if you've gotten a very good feel for this place. If you ride around a little more, you'll be completely familiar with the area. Hell yeah. The Mario Kart, yeah, we were talking about that the other day of like, how funny would it be if Persona had a kart game? I would buy it instantly. We can. Oh, we can spend time with Nanako? I think we can finally advance with her social link. I think. Maybe not? Wait, am I wrong? Hold on. Let me look at my status. Let's see. 
Um, my expression is persuasive. Is that wrong? Let me see. Let me look this up real quick. So, we are currently... What rank with her? With the Justice, we are rank 3. So, for rank 4, we need a level 3 expression. Uh... Oh, okay. You know, I think we just have to hang out with her a couple times then, and then we I think we are qualified to hopefully um, progress it next time. Alrighty. Cool. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You've obtained the license, but... Okay, well, we're going to go riding again. I think. I don't know. Unless I want to go to the daycare. Uh, we could spend time with Marie. Uh, oh, we can spend time with Kanji? Wait. Is he in the practice building? Uh, whoa, Andrew Senpai. I wasn't peeping inside. It's not like that. By the way, have you heard any weird rumors lately? I heard someone say my name in the second year's hallway, so it seemed like more stupid rumors are going around again. I mean, I'm used to it, so I don't really bother me. But I don't want to cause any trouble for you guys, so feel free to let me know if something ever comes up. Mm, in the second year's hallway? Do I have to go up there and, like... Uh... I don't know. Is there something I have to do to unlock this? I actually forget. It's been so long. Uh, uh, let me actually just look it up real quick. It's been way too many years. Well, let's see. Persona for... What is he again? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, social guide. Alrighty. So for him, he needs to, from June 9th, um, on leaning building, there's a female student located near the middle of the staircase. Um, she'll mention, okay, got it. Okay. You have to talk to her. I'm tired of coming to school. I can't believe they let that Tatsumi in here. Yeah, he's Emperor. Um, I hear he started his own gang and goes around bullying people. How did I get to be in the same class as him? He's out snooping around the practice building right now. How scary is that? Okay, so apparently he's bullying people. I wasn't peeping inside. Uh, so why are you making that scary face at me? Do you have something to tell me? I do. Let's go somewhere else then. What is it? What do you want? Dragging me out here. Oh, you're here to tell me off or something? Um... <laughs> uh, you're not far off. <laughs> huh. I'm not far. So, so I'm right? <laughs> what is it? Huh? Bullies me. Senpai, are you suspecting me? Mm, I want to believe in you. Senpai, I didn't do it. I mean, maybe it ain't that easy to trust me since they say I was in a gang. But you gotta believe me. It's my own fault rumors like that go around, huh? At this rate, I'll be causing trouble for you guys. Mm, it's no trouble. Senpai. Uh, whenever you got time, could you maybe hear what I have to say? I feel all cramped inside and I'm too dumb to know what it's about. Clumsy as he is, it seems Kanji is looking for an opportunity to change. He is. He's the tiniest, cutest little bean. I love him. To make sure I don't cause you any trouble, Huh. Well, I guess I should smack that gang of bullies around. 
Later. The Akanji. That's clearly the uh, the only solution. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you, Nanako. Oh hell yeah. Wait, what? What does it say? Oh, why do people die? Jesus. Okay. Um, is Nanako talking about her mother who died in an accident? Nanako is looking straight at you. This is the difficult question for a girl Nanako's age to understand. But with your level of expression, you were able to explain it to her. Okay, that's what they said. Let's yeah. do it. Um, one second, guys. Okay. You decided to talk to Nanako about life and death. Mm. I see. This is hard. But I get it. Thank you, big bro. Is there anything else? Well... Oh, there is. What happens to a person when they die? They go to heaven. <laughs> so it's true. Mommy went to heaven. Oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? I don't know. I see. You're not a bad person, so I guess you wouldn't know. But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year, there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to dad than I am? He's protecting you. Mm. I don't get it. It seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness stoically. You feel that you understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. Let's talk about something else, big bro. So that's why we were making so many translations. I forgot, like, there are certain cir circumstances where you'll have to have a certain level of stats to progress. Oh, we have the day off today. Nice. Hello? This is Yukiko. Does she want to hang out? Um, sure. Um, I think it was just in Golden, Katie. I could be wrong. But it's like, yeah, it's super clear. It's like so much more noticeable in the PC version. Um, It came out well, so I packed it up. Try it out. For some reason, an unusually pungent smell hangs in the air. Uh, Let's eat. Yes. Go ahead. You started with the omelet looking thing. It's actually saw there's something too hard to bite on the inside. And it smells burnt, yet raw. You worry that your body will reject the foreign matter. You were finally able to swallow it. And you're not about to tell me how delicious that was, are you? Um <laughs> can I toss this? Jesus. There's always next time. Thank you. Oh, big bro. What are you doing? Ah, Nanako-chan. Well, I was just having him try my box lunch. Oh, I want some. I'm sorry, but I can't give you any. It's no good. If you make a good one, will you let me have some? Sure, if you want. Oh. I'm rooting for you. Nanako-chan. Thank you. I'll do my best, okay? I need to go now. I'm going to my chans house. Bye. Be careful. I'm sorry to drag you around. <laughs> Just don't feed me again. I'm having fun. Really? I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Nice. Another rank up. You love to see it. Ooh, Divine Grace. Nice. Only about a year left, huh? I need to be able to do anything on my own by then. I'll see you later. Jamie! Love your hey, I got a new okay, Pride mode thanks to you. I got like the drag dragon, which is fantastic. Or the dragon, I guess I should say. Thank you very much for the three months. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. Welcome back. Thank you. I don't think that I can talk to him. Uh. Oh wait. <gasps> I can. Uh. You're that bored. Well, hold on a second then. I still have some things I need to do, so I can't spend too much time with you. Ah, <laughs> uh, watching you play P4G is like coming full circle. You originally got me into Persona way back when you were Headbutt Arcade. So thank you for getting me into a series I absolutely love less than three. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I'm really happy that you watched those videos back before they went into the void of the internet, sadly. Um, yeah, honestly, Persona, one of my all-time favorite franchises. And uh, I'm so happy that it gained so much popularity that they were able to um, also make Golden and all the sequels are so good. It was there before. Damn. Those damn kids. Don't they teach them how to file data anymore? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I wasn't talking about you. Um, let's see. Can I help? No. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I was trying to find an old newspaper article. It was falling apart, so I made a copy, but the copy seems to have gone missing. There's a certain case where we don't have a suspect yet. And since the trail's cold, it's about to be buried under newer cases. But I can't give up on this one. Ever. This doesn't seem to be the time or the place to ask him more about it. What's wrong? My stomach hurts. Was it something you ate? It feels like a sharp pain below my stomach. Oh, God. Did she secretly take a bite of Yukiko's bento box? What did you do, Yukiko? No, wait. This happened before. Is it the same feeling? I don't know. Man. Okay, the medicine we used before is... Who's calling at this time of night? Oh, no. Dojima here. What's this about? A sealed letter for me? Is it from Ichihara-san? When did it come? You forgot? I'm on my way. Gotta go. The medicine should be in the first aid kit. She's in your hands. You gave Nanako the medicine and put her to bed. He seems to be in a bad mood. You're still up? It's late. Go to sleep. Uh, but Nanako. Shut up. Now's not the time. Sorry. Something personal with me. How's Nanako? She's sleeping. Good. Thanks. You've been a great help here. Dojima seems to bear a heavy burden. What is he keeping locked up in his heart? You feel your bond with Dojima has deepened even further. It's pretty late. Go hit the hay. Night. Ba -da -da -da. I'm not actually exactly sure how old Nanako is, but yeah, she's very, very young. Today is the day people begin wearing their summer clothes. Your summer outfit is in your dresser. Hey, nice. We can go wear that in the TV world now if you want to. Don't ask questions like that, please, Panda. If you want to look up, uh, you can go ahead and do it on your own time. But 
We're trying to keep it spoiler free here, please. Ah, it's finally time to break out the summer wardrobe. So refreshing. I hope it's not going to get cold again with all this rain. I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I heard there's going to be less rain than there was last year. I love, yeah, the, the bash paws or the bye paws. <laughs> Good old Adidas knockoff. Oh, Yukiko, what's up? Um, we just hung out yesterday. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I know, the summer uniforms are so cute. Oh my lord. Ba ba da ba da dum. Ba da 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 da. Uh, good afternoon. Are you all awake today? June in Japan can be pretty tiring. Thanks to all the humidity and heat. But don't waste your days away with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. Speaking of mold. What? Hello? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What is this question? What, why are we talking about mold? Did I miss something? <laughs> That was just quite the transition there. Tell me, what kind of exercise builds up... Oh, God. I wasn't paying attention. Does anyone know the answer? I was just mashing it like an idiot. <laughs> Mold, a child? Anyway. Uh, the game takes over 100 hours to beat, more or less. On average, I would say. Eh, I mean, if you're really, like, speeding through it and not doing anything, I would say between, like, 80 to 100 hours on average. Okay, thank you. Wait. Wait, what? There's two different answers here. I'll go look it up real quick. Let me go here. Persona 4. Uh, I guess questions? Oh, Anna? Okay. Sorry, I just saw someone say aerobic, so I wasn't really... Too sure. I trust you, Mimi Choi. Yay! We did it! Perfect. You're a science teacher. Oh shit, that's right. Thank you, Mimi Choi. You, the MVP. <laughs> okay, we're at the Juness Food Court. You accompanied Yukiko on her shopping trip. Um, notebooks, three colors of pens, a loose leaf folder, labels at the stationery department, then the furniture department. I want to look at the desks, those, and the lamps. Oh my god, what's all this for? <laughs> studying. I'm thinking of studying seriously for a job license. Though, I haven't decided on exactly which one I'll pursue. But I was thinking of trying for all the ones I feel I can earn. I've started working at night, you see. Remember the job you told me about? Thanks to that, I have some money. Well, if it isn't the manager of the Imagi Inn, or should I say, the manager to be. I see you haven't gone home yet. Well, I can't very well go anywhere until the next bus or train departs. This really is the boonies. Stuck here with nothing to do. Man, the countryside is the dumps. I beg to differ. Turning down sweet deals is part of country life too, is it? Well then. Yeah, the stinky dudes. Sorry. The adults in this game are such garbage for the most part. <laughs> Those people are from some TV station. They wanted to cover the Amagi Inn. Um, you said no? Uh-huh. It's a news of the weird show. It isn't real journalism. You know, the, our, that our inn was associated with Miss Yamano's murder, right? They want to make a special called Hot Spring Getting Too Hot for the Imagis. It was an abhorrent title. Mother turned them away. But maybe she shouldn't have declined. I mean, if it gets a bad reputation, we'd lose customers and the inn really would close its doors. Then... I feel better about leaving. Mm. Are you serious? I'm serious. But you're right. There's no real point in saying things like that. I'm leaving under my own power. My life is in my hands now. 
And of course, I want to help everyone. <laughs> you too, for being such a patient listener all the time. <laughs> Sirs, please go speak to my mother about this, honestly. Well, let's go shopping. First is the stationery department. All right, let's go home. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. You're back. So you're home. I am. Oh god, my expression has to be touching now? Are you kidding me, Dojima? Good lord. Alright. Let's go do some more translations then. That's fine. <laughs> Dojima, please! Uh, who's calling? Yosuke. No, I don't want to go on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You realize that you haven't been buying things from the home shopping. Oh, yeah. I guess we can watch that now. Let's go do it. <laughs> what are you selling today? Fire suppressor or a bomb of life? Give me a bomb of life, please. Bum, 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 bum. I know the jingle is so damn catchy. What was the other option that we had with the TV again? We can watch. Does that progress time? Nothing appears on TV. Oh, okay, okay. That's why I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, I was very confused why that option was showing up. I don't have it even placed on it. Okay, no problem. Let's go do some translations again. Nice. Oh, for sure. I know. It's like such a catchy tune, but I love it. I'm glad that they put it in the dancing games too, which is fantastic. The school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Right. I'm going to be all work. I'm not going to have any fun at all. Or oh, it's going to be all work. Excuse me. There has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. All right. Let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. It's happening soon. I'm so excited. We get to meet some of my favorite characters on that camping trip. Or NPCs, I should say. Oh, does she want to hang out today? Um, sure. We'll go with the drama club. Why not? Okay, we're going straight over there. Let's get going. Yasagami High Drama Club. You participated in the acting exercises. A. Actually, really good because then our expression goes up even more. I know it's a bit early, but we're at a good place to stop. Why don't we call it a day? No. The bell hasn't rung yet. You want to quit early? You're slacking off. You need to take this more seriously. You, me, maybe you've been working too hard. I feel like I'm the only one who cares about this club. Stop holding us back. The reason you never get any lead roles is because you act like that. Yumi. Oh. It is time to go home. Please don't forget anything. Look, it's time to go home now anyway. Let's just all stop for today, alright? Okay. Was I wrong when I said that? Um, it was how you said it. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I practice controlling my emotions in this club and it still doesn't help me in real life. I'll keep practicing at the riverbank or somewhere. Anywhere but home. Um, I'll help. No, but thanks. There's nobody at my house. Mom's been going straight to the hospital after work to see him. There's no real point to go home now. When I'm by myself at home, I can't stop thinking about all that stuff. The past, why things turned out the way they did. You know. I thought I'd forgotten them. Sorry, I've just been whining. Just forget about this, okay? Um, I can't forget. I won't. 
not very nice. <laughs> Can't you be a little nicer to a girl? I have my acting. That's how I can keep going. No matter what happens, I'll go on. That's right. Thank you. If I was by myself, I'd have been down in the dumps for a while. I just know it. So, um, I'm glad you were here. <laughs> I hope you'll stick around for a while longer. I'm gonna stop somewhere on my way home and practice some more there. I finally got a lead role. I have to make sure I can do it. If you want, you can change the channel. You might as well try a magic trick. You decided to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber band on your index and middle finger. You also hook it on the ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? When you open up the hand you had closed lightly, the rubber band springs off the index and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring finger and pinky. Nanako saw part of the trick. Yo! Wait till you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own, just like I've been dreaming about. I've been on cloud nine all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles for a spin out to Okina after school? Okina? You know, you once promised you would. Uh, the up close and personal plan, eh? Hey, remember, that's my partner. It's time to put our let's use motorcycles to hit on city girls plan in action. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year, don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is let out. <laughs> School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, the, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be a place of education to wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send home anyone who brings down the morale. You remember that. What? You don't know the difference between morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is... Tell me, Hanamura. You seem to be lacking in morals. Damn it, King Moron. I thought I knew, but I'm doubting myself. Sorry, Andrew. Tell me what morale is. A reward. The desire to grow. Cheerfulness in a group. Yeah, right? And then gambling spirit. I'm assuming it's three. I'm gonna go with three. That was unexpected. Did you tell him the answer, Arcade? Anyway, yes. Morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group or an individual within a group. Remember when those women were killed? It's shit like that that brings down people's morale and their morals. And maybe that'll all happen to you if you keep living lives of low morals and low morale. What a low thing to say. Thanks, Andrew. I don't want to think what he'd say if I miss that. Yo, bros, thank you so much for redeeming Pineapple Reward. I will give you that right after the stream is over. Thank you so much. Hey, our expression went up. And thank you, everyone, for putting your pineapples. Please put a few extra for me because I can't alt-tab. Otherwise, the game just pauses. I'm so sorry. Or I can actually give it to you on the break. Oh, shit. I forgot we got this, like, lively music here. So This whole area is completely new to gold. I mean, you Hello, see parts of it. Station. That in... was easier than I thought. Persona 4 on social links, but like this is the first time we get to like explore it, which is kind of fun. He actually followed us all the way here. Kanji. <laughs> <laughs> that was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? 
since I came all the way to Okina, there, there's this craft shop? It, it's nothing. I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Then why'd he come with us? You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. The early summer sunlight beats down. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Oh, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well... It's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes! There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do! Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet if you're getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys! This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? <laughs> Three minutes is all I need. <laughs> Please. What are you saying? <laughs> Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. <laughs> now that's my senpai. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! I'm not gonna lose this one. I'll show you how a man like Kanji Tatsumi gets things done. Why did we even start this? Anyway, my highest priority is to make sure Kanji doesn't beat me. Um, I'm gonna win. Are you serious? Oh geez, I can't lose now. Little girl, there's a young girl standing there. Um, what? I mean, <laughs> should I? I don't know. See? Oh my god. <gasps> Latina Kekeris. Oh my god. Um, Chaosis, can you speak Japanese? This is Japan! Relax! <laughs> um, nothing bad, do you speak Spanish? Very good. Uh, we're going to something? We're going to talk? Uh, what's your name? Me? <laughs> Jorge. <laughs> really? Your name is Jorge? <laughs> Jorgito! <laughs> and, uh, well, what's going on? Um, what's your cell phone number? Uh, no, I can't give it to you. My mom doesn't let me give it to strangers. But your Spanish was really good. Way to be a citizen of the world. Well, I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gosh dang it, nothing today again. There's an older woman here. Maybe you should talk to her. Oh, can I help you? You seem young. How old are you? What do you do? Um, I'm a go-getting college student. Well, you meet the age requirement and the height and looks requirements. 
I guess the only thing left is your potential to become great someday. Are you the oldest child? Second oldest? What's your family structure like? Do you live with your parents? Is your parents' house a rental? Or do they own? Is it a house or an apartment? The woman has, the woman has a rapid fire stream of questions. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just like knowing these things. Just so as not to give you the third degree here, let me introduce myself. I'm a homemaking assistant by trade, and my hobbies are gardening and traveling. And I'm a groovy hip with it 23 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Something rings strange about what she just said. Is she really 23 years old? Older? Question mark, lady? I've been really lonely lately. My bed feels so empty. I've played around with guys before, but I can't live my whole life as a tease. So I thought I should settle down. Um, I'm your man. Wow, that is so sexy. On our anniversaries, you should take me out to eat. French or Italian would be nice. So you can split the housework and childcare. Oh, do you like kids? How many do you want when we get married? I actually have my half of a marriage license, license all filled out already if you're ready to go. I'm game whenever you are. Actually, do you want to sign it now? <laughs> this seems like a good time to come clean about the fact that you're in high school. <laughs> what? Second year of high school? You're just a kid. Don't make passes at me, you stupid little boy. If you're under 18, you're under my limit. Go talk to someone else. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> A little time pass. <laughs> and that guy trying to pick me up was such a loser. That nose piercing made him look like a cow. That sounds awful. What did he think he was? In of a beef? A couple of flashy high school girls are here. Will you talk to them? What the hell? Who are you? Are you hitting on us? Well, he is kind of cute. We're not doing anything right now, so maybe we can hang out. I haven't seen you around. Where do you live? Um. Uh. Uh, Okina. I'm totally from here. R really? But I've never seen you before. I bet he's from Inaba and doesn't want to admit it. I heard Inaba's so dead, the farm animals haven't taken over. Four legs good, two legs bad. That's like the book. Let me hear you squeal, country boy. Um, if you say so, oh my god, don't mock in about, OMG, what a prick, we were just kidding around, yeah, who made you king of the universe, this is lame, let's go home, <laughs> oh my god, hey, give it to me, um, but, hurry up, I ain't got all day, wow, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any money, what? I just wanted to fix the string. The string? Yeah, the threads in your sleeve are coming undone. The string's hanging out. It's driving me crazy. I'm gonna blind stitch the hell out of it. Please don't hurt me. I'm sorry. It's unraveling. Neither of them seem to be understanding each other. <laughs> oh my god. Kanji, please. Uh... Wow, so your dad runs the Juness? I see the commercials all the time. Yep. We always thank our customers. Every day is great at your Juness. I'll show you around the Inaba store, if I can get your number, that is. So, yeah, it would just really be great if I could get that number. What? But I've never gone to Inaba. I'll give you a coupon for me. 20% off. Good only on Wednesdays. Uh, whatever. No thanks. Then, just the last eight digits of your number? That's good enough for me. Yosuke seems to be having a hard time. <laughs> There's a gorgeous woman here. Will you talk to her? Hmm? What does a cute boy like you want with me? Um, it's love at first sight. You're so funny. I like boys like you. I kind of like younger boys. They're innocent and adorable. It makes me want to educate them on some things. Hmm. How do you feel about older women? Um, age means nothing. Uh, thank you, Pandemonium, for the 21 months. Thank you so much. I see. You're young and full of energy. I wouldn't mind spending time with you. Hey, do you really want to hang out? Not today, I mean, and not if you don't want to. But if you want, I could teach you a lot about how grown-ups play. Things are going well? One more push and you may be able to get a number. Well, do you want to play with me? Uh, yes, please. You're adorable. I'm starting to like you. But I have something to do right now, so this isn't the best day. Maybe next time. Try to get her number. All right, here you go. Just for you. Call me, won't you? Oh my god, I'll be waiting. <laughs> How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. 
I thought so. Big boo. <laughs> what? Panamonium, thank you for getting a sub to Not um, So Loo. Anyway, Channel so... Fairy, DXME Peace, Megmas, and Twitzy. Thank you so much. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Please. How many times are you going to beg? So you're going to call her, right? Right? She picked up. Oh, Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? Oh, I get it. It's you, huh? You rat bastard. You're dead, shitbird. How dare you hit on my girl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. You better not call again, got it? I can hear him from here. Is that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. Did you pull it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God! I'm in such deep shit! D did I call the wrong number? Uh, one more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date. Huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> My motorcycle! Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa, up close and personal. I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything. And you're freaking me out. And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay, just... Put an end to this suffering already.
Why can we have gone out with Kanji instead? Uh, this is the oh, what did we get again? The bomb of life and a prize sticker. I forget what we do with the prize stickers. I think that we can. I think at the store we can redeem them for something. I think you can harvest. Did I plant? Uh oh yeah, I can. Okay, let me go do that. Three tiny soul tomatoes. Yeah. Um, Persona 4 and Persona 5 definitely have a few scenes that are just like some eyebrow razors for sure. <laughs> that scene did not exist in the original one. Um, but I love Hanako. She's not just like a one-time gag, thank God. Um... I actually really, really like her. Uh, she shows up a few times in the game. Um, she's honestly one of my favorites. Uh, that's what I was talking about when it comes to like the campsite stuff. Uh, she, and there's also like this other character that is paired with her and uh, together they are hilarious. I love them so much. Hanako is a good NPC. Just that scene in particular was like mm, the worst way to introduce her for sure. But there's way more to her than that exactly. But it has been an hour, um, so I need to go over here and I need to um, run some ads. So I will be right back uh, in just a few minutes, everybody.
Alrighty, I'm back. And the ad break is done. Um, oh yeah, Tab. I mean, I'm someone that grew up with childhood obesity and I'm still very fat right now. My weight has fluctuated so much. Um, and I even commented about this a long time ago. I actually forgot about that scene. I remember when I played that on stream for the first time, I was just like, ooh, I'm like, that is weird. I'm like, why did they add this? <laughs> Especially because in Persona 2, they also have another character that's overweight, but she's um, written in a much more like sympathetic, sympathetic way. But then Persona 4, they're just like, fuck it, fat jokes. And then also like in Persona 2, uh, there's like gay relationships and everything. And, and then in Persona 5, they add like a super homophobic scene out of nowhere. I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like, where did that come from? So, and I, I, that's a criticism I've had about the series overall. And I've talked about it before in the past where I'm like, I love the games. I'm like, however, there are some fragments where I'm just like, there are just some things that are like really out of place compared to like the rest of the game for sure. Um, but yeah, in a lot of ways, they've gone really backwards with um, some of the sequels for sure. So um very very strange yeah definitely different writers i mean this game is developed by a lot of different people um different writers but japan is still uh largely quite homophobic in terms of society as well true um yeah exactly rose and like i love hanako the, uh, the at least the positive thing about hanako is that she's very confident and like very body positive of herself so that's like the redeeming quality like i really love that i just hate that she's like the butt of the joke right just because of her weight but i love that she's so self-confident and like doesn't let people get to her which is at least um the right thing um or not the right thing but the like the the good thing i could see in her character at least um, um it's also possible that the sigma related japanese culture and society at the time true so gold that scene was added in 2012 um, and then there was a lot of stuff with Hanako too, or, um, in 2008 where there's, there, it's not the end of it. I will be straight up. Like she is going to be at the butt of a joke and a lot of other things, but I think the setup and the scenarios that she's put in later, um, are not as cringy for sure. All right, let's go here and spend yeah. some time with Nanako. Totally Mandy. It's a documentary about a young man searching for his real father. Nanako is staring into the TV. Real father? Hey, big bro. What do they mean by real? Um, oh gosh, you know what? Let me actually get my guide up again because I don't want to mess this up. And I never know. <laughs> a person you love a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, then you're my real big brother. And dad's my real father. Mm. But I don't think dad really loves me. Maybe. Maybe I'm not real to him. Daddy doesn't come home because I'm not his real daughter. Did he say that? No. Mommy. Why'd she leave me? When mom was still here, we all went out together. We picked flowers at Samagawa. I thought she was going to say more after that. Oh no. Hey, big bro. Let's uh, talk with her. Wait, no, no, no. Listen to her talk. Oh no, I don't have enough understanding. Okay. Well, I have to do talking then. That's the second best option. <laughs> um, then let's play the word game. Then we'll start with W from word. W, W, worm. Night. I'll fight both her parents. Her mom is dead. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. Alyssa's like, it's on site. I don't care if I come across her in like the graveyard. I'm throwing hands. <laughs> School camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? I'll fight any ghost. <laughs> oh my god. 
Uh, you should do everything. Hell no. We should do that. <laughs> okay. I'll be sure to let Chie and Yosuke-kun know then. Uh, you came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds though, black and white. Way to go, Yukiko! The Amagi family sure knows their stuff! Let's get both! Just in case! Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Hmm. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt? <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff! I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. By the way, was there anyone interested that wanted to come to my town in Animal Crossing, or should I uh, go ahead and turn it off? Because I just realized no one's uh, in the town anymore. But if anyone wants to stop by, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'll shut it down. We can't hang out with him, right? Our expression is not high enough. Okay. Can't hang out with Nanako either. Uh, let me save. Fight the dad. Oh my god. And let's go do some more translations. Translate. Uh, read it again. Uh, Dad, Yamako said you don't love... Oh, <laughs> Nanako said you don't love her. What the hell's up with that? I know. <laughs> Dojima, please. Uh... Today is the first day of the school camp out. You should hurry to the meeting place. I'm so excited. I love the camping trip so much. Picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. Hey, what's the matter? Is it okay if I have yours? I can't wait to dig in. Should we taste this? Huh? Only if you do it first. Oh 
Oh man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um, we put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliche, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. Hey! What the hell is this? I mean, what kind of... Curry's supposed to be, like, really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's gritty, too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. No, I don't have enough courage. No. <laughs> no. The second you put it in your mouth, you sense that something is wrong. You can tell after one bite that this isn't edible. There's no way you can swallow it. Oh, we're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. Can I just say, though, that the reason I really like Hanako is because I am Hanako. <laughs> and I don't know who else in chat said who put me in the game, but when you said that, I felt that. Because, especially as a kid, I would just eat anything on site, and I would take the biggest portions, and I had no shame. Like, I am eating all of this. This is for me and not for you. I do not share my food. I am Hanako. We are all Hanako. We stand Hanako. We love all body shape sizes here. Again, sorry. I know that this game does have some really cringe shit when it comes to uh, shaming fat people. But <laughs> fuck that noise. No shame here. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Something smells good. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey, uh, Hanako. Period, Tab. 100% agree. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! <sighs> No way. <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. It's what they deserve, Tab. It's what they deserve. <laughs> Dude, Japanese curry is on a whole other level, though. It's so freaking good. Damn it. I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's ten is all quiet. Like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? 
Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school. When he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal cracker? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Am I really what? <laughs> what I mean is, um. <laughs> Yosuke, you stupid fucking idiot. With you? <laughs> is he, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm... Well, how do I put it? Uh... Oh, God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girl's tent right now. Uh, wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stuff a man like me. The dude's seriously going for it. Hey, man, you gotta stop him. Hey, nice. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Uh, hey, wait! What? I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens.
Now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. Might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... That does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, 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 no! Yukiko, no! <laughs> Please, uh... doing here this is the guy's side let us in don't be ridiculous if king moron finds out we'll all be expelled go back to your tent we can't are there any rotten apples out and about any indecent students out there all right hurry up and get in so why are you two here well it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then, and then he, he fainted all of a sudden. That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there. And, you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him. He's right outside. Hey, turn the light off. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <sighs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. There goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke. We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. Well, well, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up, I was in Yosuke Senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! 
we don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. Typical broske. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. <laughs> Chie is all of chat right now. <laughs> Chie is me in this moment, too. Like, what the fuck? Did you have those this whole time? <laughs> Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. <sighs> Stop staring like that. Hey. <laughs> I, why can't I say that Kanji looks cute? Why can't I say that Yosuke looks cute? All right. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> but listen, we've ranked up with Yukiko a whole bunch. So we get bonus points if we call out like one person in particular. So I'm going to say that Chie okay, is very okay, cute. Okay, oh my god, Malia, thank you so much for the three months. Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody, please put your buttons up for Lady Haxor. Thank you so much. I don't know if it's worse if you brought the swimsuits with him or not. Um... I forget he he definitely alluded it into the original game. I can't remember if you have that scene where we did that in this game too. But um we'll say Chie just so that we can get the bonus points for uh, the social links. Huh? Sheesh, what's with you all of a sudden? <laughs> Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of what? Up for having to eat that mystery What are you doing? Big boobs. Um, <laughs> anyway, so. What the heck? Thank you so much for gifting five subs. And oh, yo, I got the cute ass bee. Oh my god, I got oh my, I got pride pog out of that. Hold on, I'm gonna go spam that. Cause look at this little bee, it's so cute. Thank you for gifting a sub to Refure, Soak Soap, Bethany, D Game, and Chloe. Thank you so much. Come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. These girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're going to turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Don't you think so? Thank you so much, your suit. <laughs> I know Pride Pog is so freaking cute. Yosuke reminds you of the guy that sees me the same way as being hot but has no frame of mind that they might not feel the same way about themselves. True. Yosuke afraid of Kanji sleeping in the same tent. But no problem. I know. Yosuke. I want to like him. But uh, <laughs> he has a lot of moments in Persona 4 Golden where he is uh, your typical teenage boy for sure. Which is no excuse. I'm not trying to say boys will be boys. I'm just saying he's living up to that very uh, stereotypical character. Sorry, I'm also eating the quesadilla right now because I'm hungry. <laughs> um, I don't know about that. You guys cross the line. Period. Definitely. Push them. Execute them. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's freezing. You, you didn't have to push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji-kun? 
Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? D don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still... Uh... What? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> That was close. What? What was that for? I didn't do anything. Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? Oh God, I forgot about this part. <laughs> it seems that King Moron is vomiting further up the river. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. <laughs> Senpai. Don't say it. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. So, you know what? At the end of the day, at least they got what they deserved. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god. We survived, everybody. Oh, welcome home, Big <laughs> Karma, karma, karma. How was school camp? It was... It was something, Nanako. It was uh, something. Um, I think we have to go to bed tonight. Yeah, we're exhausted from the school camp. All right, let's go. Kanji was framed. I know Kanji was definitely the poor bystander that got in a whole heap of trouble for no reason. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, happy Pride Month to you too, Scary Jerry Gaming. I appreciate it. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the Home Shopping Network? Oh, let's go buy some stuff. What are they selling today? Uh, they are selling a power belt and huge fish. I already bought some fish earlier. Uh, let's buy the power belt. That might be helpful for Kanji, maybe. It does, Katie. Yeah. I don't know if that's why Kanji had a nosebleed himself in that particular scene, but... Within, like, manga and anime, that's what it's heavily implying. Alright, so who did what today? Oh, we can go spend time with Marie. Let's go do that then. Because um, we haven't seen her in a hot minute, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, I should buy some more uh, seeds for my garden. Let's get some more tomatoes. Oh, wait, what? Oh, she's giving more info. My father and like... My father-in-law likes to juice these in a blender and drink them straight up. Oh, okay. What is it that it is? Oh, oh, we get, okay. Wheat or cabbage? Give me the cabbages. Yes. Thank you. I guess we'll buy both. Why not? They're pretty cheap. Okay. Let's go into town. And then Marie should be in the central shopping district. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I see tab. Let's go hang out. All right, the closest thing to a big city. Oh, we're gonna go back to the city. All right, nice. I'm still new to the stream. What was the voice about? Which voice? I'm sorry. Uh, Okina City in front of Okina Station. You brought Marie here by train to satisfy her curiosity. Oh. So this is the city. Hmm. Uh, and if any of you are watching Persona 4 for the first time, Marie. Um, we don't really know what she is. We found her like in an alternate dimension uh, where there's like this limousine covered in fog with this other character named Igor who has like uh, the biggest nose you'll ever see. And I'm not even like insulting him. I'm just, she literally calls him the nose. And then uh, there's also a woman named Margaret that's with her. So she's not very familiar with reality. And so we've been showing her what humans do. And um, yeah, so anyway, she's like a very supernatural. It's kind of hard to explain. Persona, Persona 4 is, it's so out there. It's incredible though, I love it. <laughs> Weird. It's a funny place, wide yet narrow. It's gray and full of squares. What do you do in the city? Um, I guess for the most part, uh, people watch, I guess is the most relatable one I relate to anyway <laughs> i see oh so you brought me here to look at the humans is that fun but you're human and i watch you all the time <laughs> hmm? 
Andrew-kun. Oh, and Marie-chan. Um, hello. Is she your friend? Oh, that's right. You haven't met her before, huh? She's Marie-chan. I had lunch with her once. This is Yukiko Omagi. She's our friend. Friend. If she's someone you know, then she must not be from around here, right? Did she come from the big city? Ah, I get it. So that's why you're here in Okina City, huh? There's deadly squat to do around where we live, right? Yeah, I know. And a black one today. What are green and black doing here? Green and black? Green and black? Uh, I was wearing green last time I saw you, wasn't I? Hmm. I don't always wear black. I didn't say it was bad. You look good in those colors. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't think it was a compliment. <laughs> She's a nice girl. There's no doubt about that. But black girls dress so plain. Does green girl always wear the same thing all the time? To the point as ever. But she's right. Nope. That's not what I meant. It's just, it's a waste. Humans can change their clothes, right? You should try wearing other clothes. Is that so? I don't really pick out my own outfits. I know. We were just on our way to get some new clothes. Why don't you come with us, Andrew Kuhn? You too, Murray-chan. Chie, they might already have plans for their own. Don't just assume they can come along at a moment's notice. Um, I don't mind. Huh? I don't mind. Alright then, let's get going. Yeah, Sapphiros. <laughs> that, that translation... I don't know how they handle that in the Japanese version, but, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, and also Yukiko wears red more often than not, so you would think that they would have said green and red. Uh, Chie and Yukiko are having fun while looking for clothes. I forgot about this Come clothing on. store. How's this shirt? Don't you think it's a good color? It's a green shirt. That's green, you know? Yeah, it is. Huh? Whoa, you're right. Why do I keep buying myself green clothes? The game is really breaking the fourth wall here. <laughs> Reach on. What's your favorite color? Don't tell me. Blue, right? Uh, I don't really have one. Hey. What do you think of this skirt? Is it too mature for me? Yukiko has a jet black skirt in her hands. Um, that's an eye-catching color. <laughs> It is eye-catchingly black. I see. So wearing a single color isn't in. I like to keep things simple. Yes. I'll try exploring. Any Away with simplicity. Oh, well, okay. Oh. What about this? Does this say me? Green again? Hey. How about this one? Away with simplicity. There's too many colors. I'm getting dizzy. This skirt's cute. It would go well with... How's this? Chie selects a yellow shirt and a blue skirt. At least it's not green. Wait, but yellow and blue make green, right? <laughs> You're right. Maybe it's some kind of instinct. <laughs> You're not doing it on purpose? Marie really did say, stop being such a basic bitch. Oh my god. Chie and Yukiko finish their shopping and return to the station with you. Why were they only out of stuff in my size? It can't be helped. Let's go back sometime later. They might have some new inventory by then. Why don't we all go together then? The four of us. Um, if you want to. Why? Me too. Why? Huh? Uh, because we're friends? Really? We are? Since when? Wait, didn't you have fun? Was I bothering today? And last time too? Huh? No, you weren't bothering me. I was just asking about why you said friends. What does it mean to become friends? Hmm. Well, I don't really know. 
The meaning of friendship. Hmm. Um, you'll know once you have one. Hmm. Yes, I believe there is meaning. There are things you can't do by yourself that you can do together with others. Like today, we had you to help us choose our clothes. I don't get it. After all, I almost forgot there's a DVD I wanted. Let's hurry, it'll sell out. It's a kung fu movie, right? I doubt it'll sell out. Enough talk. Come on, everybody. Hustle. Me too? Um, you're not going? I don't get it. I'll go, but I still don't get it. Hey. Those two are Persona users, right? They're chasing after the truth with you, huh? You can't do that on your own, but you can do it together because you're friends. <laughs> I know someone the other day was saying how this game, like the premise of it and certain aspects of it reminded them of Stranger Things. And this is just kind of reminding me of like when Eleven first starts making friends with everyone in the town, especially in season three when um, she meets up with uh, Max. And they, like, they go to the mall and everything. I really love that show. I can't wait for uh, season four. I don't know when it's going to come out. Because I know obviously there's been a lot of delays. But it's so good. An entertainment news show is on. That concludes Rise Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. Good night, musician. Thanks for stopping by. We're short on time. So if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please. The press conference has erupted into chaos. Is Rise-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? <laughs> she has a portrait. I wonder if Yo. she's important. <laughs> oh, sorry. I haven't completely woken up yet. Oh, yeah. The shopping district seemed different today when I was passing by. Like, everyone is really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. Um, I smell a case behind it. Smell? Man, you're sounding like Teddy. It didn't even seem like the cops were involved in what was there, though. Guess I'll try asking around at school. Yo. Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all going to forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. You think so too? It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie. A cutie pie? What are you, 80? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Maruku? 
Maruku? Maruku tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait, does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Rise started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Rise be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Risei is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. Let's do it! Sheesh, he's all pumped up. All right, that's the end of the uh, the proof and the end of the chapter two. I've heard all the gossip going around about Rize Kuchikawa. Those idols don't have normal people problems. They'll have money. They'll never have to compromise in marriage. What should I make for dinner tonight? <laughs> but you know, June is bonus month. That's why I'm a little bit happier right now. They say that Japan first implemented the bonus during the Meiji era. What a wonderful culture. Hey, are you listening to me? I'm talking about a wonderful culture. Especially you, Arcade Coon. You're looking bored. What period did Japan first implement bonus pay? I was listening. For once. It's a wonderful culture. It's the joy in labor. So you're all ignoring me thinking I'm just chit-chatting, eh? Well, now this is gonna be on the test. <laughs> There's a story there. I know, so many of the teachers are so bitter. <laughs> but I love it. She looks so scary in HD. I said the same thing, Michi. I was like, holy crap, that's not what I was expecting. Andrew, if you can spare the time, uh, can you come somewhere with me? No rush or anything. Later. <sighs> oh, sorry, I'm just kind of tired. Oh yeah, practice today. I'll see you later. She's serving Medusa. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, wow. Um, okay, I have to use the restroom anyway, and we're about to approach our next hourly break. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it so that we do a poll and then we'll figure it out afterward. So let me go make the poll. Good night, Ash. Have a good one. So what do? Do we spend time with Yosuke? We can spend time with Yukiko. We can spend time with Chie. Or we can spend time with, um, Yumi. All right, feel free to vote while I'm on break. I'll be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. Let me see uh, how much time we have left on this. Just a few more seconds. Okay. No problem. Um, so yeah, we'll play for one more hour. Um, and then I'll definitely have to stop the stream. But um, again, thank you all so much for stopping by the uh, Persona 4 streams. I know they're pretty drastically different from Sims and Animal Crossing. But I'm so thrilled that so many people have been equally excited about Persona 4 Golden being released. Um, honestly, we're making really good progress on this game. Like, when I saw Rize on the news station, I was like, wait, what? I'm like, already? I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, all right. I'm like, we're actually kind of zooming, dude. We're like uh, making some good progress. All right. So we're going to go uh, hang out with Yumi. So let's go find her over there. Back out of this. Okay. Yumi should be in the hallway. So let's go find her. Oh my god. So many people to hang out with. Oh, Andrew Kuhn. Let's go. Oh, thank you, Philly. Yeah, hopefully uh, we'll also play more Persona games after we're done with this one. I don't know when Persona 5 Scramble's coming out, but that'll be really easy to play on the Switch, obviously, since I can just easily transition from Animal Crossing to that. It's actually good we're hanging out with Yumi because our expression still needs to level up. Uh, Yumi isn't here. The lead role Yumi is supposed to play for the concourse and is being played by the Vice President. Did Yumi go to the hospital? He decided to visit the hospital after practice ended. Bottom. Oh, nice, Flea Goblin. It's a pretty chill game, honestly. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of intense subjects and stuff. But overall, the pacing of it is like, you know, it's like a good, long drama. I love it, though. It's like one of my favorites. Yumi is sitting here looking gloomy. Andrew Kuhn, why are you... Oh, uh, just passing by. Silly. Oh, it hasn't... Okay, they'll announce it soon. Gotcha. Your house is in the other direction from school. Jeez. I'm sorry. You came because I didn't show up to practice, right? Mom collapsed. She works from sun up to sun down, and then she comes here to look after him every day. The doctor said it was exhaustion. She'll be released from the hospital soon, but she's pushing herself too far. She's so stupid. Oh my god. The music, yeah, the music is fantastic. God. Um, let's see. You should support her. Don't say that about her. It must have been tough. Um... I'd say don't say that about her, right? Like, hopefully. That's my gut, anyway. My parents. Is that even the word for people like them? Nothing matters anymore. Now I have to look after mom like she looked after him. If I don't quit the drama club and get a job, mom will just make herself sick again working all the time. I'm stepping down from my role. The lead role... I had all my lines memorized. My script was full of notes. I'd practiced by myself all this time. But there's no point now. Nothing goes my way. It's all because of my parents. They're both holding me back. Um. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'll just say, take care of yourself too. I feel like the middle option's a little too cruel. Thank you. You didn't seem very reliable when we first met, but you know, you're pretty kind after all. I'm sorry. It's not like you have anything to do with what's happening in my life. Um, yes I do. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. It's nice to hear you say that, though. Aw. Well, at least we are able to help with some support. We're already halfway done with that social link. Oh my god. I'm gonna visit my mom's room now. I'll see you at school. Ba -da -ba -da -bum 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 -bum. 
Uh, and if anyone's watching the stream for the first time in this game, basically her dad was in the hospital Welcome first, back. but she has like a really terrible relationship with him because he abandoned uh, both her and her mother. Uh, and then he became really sick out of nowhere. And uh, so her mom has been going to the hospital each day to spend time with him in his final days, basically. Hmm? I, I can't hang out yet, but I want to. Oh, wait, we can still spend time. Never mind. Oh, was I stupid? Was I, I am, oh, it, it leveled up in the, uh, the, the camping trip. I am stupid, but in the best way possible. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. T uh, <laughs> the newspaper article. Oh yeah, I found it. Were you worried about it? It's about Chisato, my wife. When she was killed by a hit and run. I told you before, right? About the case where we never had a suspect. Get it now? There's nothing more I can do or say about in this house. Let's stop there. Oh my gosh. Um, I need to actually look up this real quick. Um, then let's go outside. <laughs> We're being a smart ass. <laughs> <sighs> you win. <laughs> She, Nanako's mother was run over on her way to pick Nanako from nursery school. It was a cold day, and there were no witnesses, so they didn't find her until much later. No, I'm not doing a perfect run. I'm just trying to get as many social links finished as possible. And there's certain ones that I'm prioritizing over to finish first. So I'm definitely trying to get like Dojima and Nanako's like maxed out immediately. Until they got word to me, Nanako was waiting all that time at the nursery, all alone, waiting for a mother who would never come. I couldn't tell Nanako that her mother was killed, that her father, whose job is to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. But I haven't given up. I'll catch the guy. I don't need a private life to do that. Nanako will understand. Is that... Is this what she wants? Hmm. Even if it's not what she wants now, she'll understand someday. I have to tell myself that. Sorry. Leave me alone for right now. Andrew. Thanks. You can sense Dojima's pain. Um, when it comes to social links, though, I will for sure be maxing out all the party members, no doubt. Um, also, for sure, Marie, Adachi, Nanako, Dojima, probably the basketball team and drama. And then after that point, as many additional ones that I can. Um, oh, okay, we have to watch the Midnight Channel tonight. What did most people do? Oh, we could go see the Fox, I think. Oh, wait, we can go to the club again. Okay, actually, maybe we should go to the club again. Probably. Uh, no, 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 no. Nanako does know that her mom died uh, in an accident. Um, sh she's aware, yeah. Oh, Andrew Kuhn. Oh, right, it's practice day today. Are you going? It's not ready to advance yet, but we'll still I spend see. time. That way we'll level up our uh, expression. Oh, she can't make it. The rank up, I know, the rank up sound effect is pretty loud. <laughs> you thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has increased. Yeah, uh, Adachi and Marie are new social links in Golden. I'm assuming that Royal also has some new social links. They have two new characters too. I know they have Kasumi and like that very attractive doctor guy. Oh, that's actually really sweet. I forgot that when even she doesn't show up to practice that the main protagonist still like goes to the hospital to spend time with um, Yumi. Welcome back. All right, everyone. It's time to 
watched the Midnight Channel again. It's been a while. Oh, right. Confidants, not social links. <laughs> Forgot they changed it in five. A figure appeared. It seems to be a girl. She's wearing a swimsuit. She looks somewhat like Rize Kujikawa, the idol that you saw on TV yesterday. For some reason, it keeps zooming in on her chest and thighs. It's hard to make out her face as a result. Going to Maruku Tofu Shop with Yosuke tomorrow. We decided to go to bed for tonight. Hey, did you hear? It looks like Risei Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door. I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maraku. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little... different? It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. What's that look for? Anyways, I'm positive, right? Uh, are we going? I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure, I'll tag along. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation, got it? Uh, Mr. Detective, did something happen? Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kujikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty! I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. But you're right. It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey, you think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi. Damn it, I told him not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? Oh, um, w well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a, a big fan. Hmm. <sighs> Fine, but remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? 
Are you guys under suspicion? Well, they did take us in once. But we can't just tell them everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. You got a point there. Ah, uh, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here, but it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. A rumor? What? She's not here? Seriously? <laughs> you sound like the world's about to end. Shut up. Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. I'll buy something. Oh, there's some tofu that, like, he has to specifically eat, and I cannot remember what it is for the life of me. Is it a moment tofu? Maybe? Oh, good. I don't know. I'll just take a shot in the dark. For some reason, I want to go with the center one. Oh, yeah. I can't eat tofu. Damn it. I picked the wrong one. So, just get some ganmodoki. That's the alternative. Ganmodoki? Is that the kind with the rice cake in it? Kanji smarter than me? There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in and... Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me. Uh, yes, may I help you? What the... then who's that? What? <sighs> uh, are you Rise? Yeah, so? No way! Are you really Reset? What do you want? Huh? Oh, sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? W which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh, um... Kanji, order something! <laughs> Why are you making me do it? You already picked Gamo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmodoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Wow. She's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Man, but it's really her. I'm so glad I came. Mission comp- Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Um, huh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Weird? Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. You little... Why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet or what? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. Uh, how do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. You're funny. Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either, but you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, 
but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. All right, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks! Uh, Yosuke-senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well... You're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but... You do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Wait! You think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Hmm, something smells here. The recent disappearances between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... <laughs> Sir? Yasugami Hai, the second victim, Saki Konishi, and two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Aren't we going to be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon at... They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. We sure have a lot of tofu. Yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? I see. <sighs> Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei chan <sighs> Yeah. Are you fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Hi, Cappuccino. Sorry, I didn't want to talk over all of that. Um, how are you doing? It's the same girl as before, still wearing a swimsuit. Her chest area and waist are emphasized. This girl. 
is Rize Kujikawa. The image is fairly clear tonight. Should you try calling Yosuke? It's Rize's hey, grandma. We were right about it being Rize Kujikawa. The one on tonight seemed a lot creepier than the real Rize, but you could see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. Uh, and Syncrophy, sorry, you were asking if it was Laura Bailey. And yeah, um, Laura Bailey voices Rize in Persona 4 and Golden. And I think the anime too. Uh, but then she was replaced by Ashley Birch in uh, Dancing All Night. So about the Midnight Channel last night, that had to be Rise Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Mizyamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the midnight channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the midnight channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to? And for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks, I'm gonna attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're gonna go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. Oh, as always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Uh, well. Uh, Yo, Nico, thank you uh, so much for the three well, months. Um, you weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV is a good way to do that because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Uh, Yukiko? There's always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act! We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. For what? They don't even sell those here. 
We have him at Juness. Oh, too much information. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm on my way there, too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. <laughs> not a bad guy to have around. Don't stop. The culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past her like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <gasps> Look! Uh, who's there? <laughs> the way he slides down. It hey, kills me every he's time. Running away! Here. Stop running, damn it. Don't, don't come near me. Shut up. What kind of idiot would listen to? I'll do it, you know. What are you going to do if I get run over? What? No. If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh... I'll do it, I swear! S -s -s get out of here and stop chasing me! Hey, what should we do? How are we supposed to get behind him? Come on, let's just take him down. All right, on my mark. Look, over there! A Martian! Oh! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer. We're taking your punk ass in. What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb. Oh, wait a second. I just really like Rosette. So I wanted to take a peek at her room. Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras. Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. Oh, <laughs> how I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go. I didn't do anything wrong. I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures. Hey. Don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure. But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it really over? The rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? Awesome! Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, hello. Um... Oh, 
did you come to see Rise? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left without saying anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Wha what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face. She left without saying anything? Could that mean... Well, shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah, I agree. I can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. Thank you, Nanako. There was a delivery. Yay! Power belt. Okay, we gotta go watch Midnight Channel again. Um, yes, Ashley. Uh, that's what you get for trusting the police. Oh my god. <laughs> you ever hear a student stalking? Man, I'm bored. I've got nothing to do. I guess I'll head over to Okina. With the movie theater, the shops, and the cafes there, I should be entertained. It's a great spot for dates, too. My girlfriend really digs it there. So I should see if she wants to go, too. Why do you have to go... Uh, do that. Always rubbing your girlfriend in my face. Oh yeah? Well, I hope that crazy woman at the clothing store makes you buy something dumb and you chug some way too intense coffee. Whoa man, don't be a hater. I didn't mean it like that. It's just a fun place to go with anyone, friend or girlfriend. You want to come with me next time? Oh. Is it lecture time? Nope. It's Teddy time! Okay? 
I wasn't crying. Everyone was having fun out there. You forgot about me. I was abandoned. We would never do that. I'm sorry. Were you lonely? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless bear. I don't even know what I am. I couldn't figure it out. No one would come visit me. Then I thought I heard voices from your world. They were all having so much fun. I was so lonely that I tried to cry. But I couldn't. Well, you are hollow inside. Shut up! Stop saying I'm hollow! Don't snap at me. This is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on! I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? When I'm alone, I think too much. It makes me even lonelier. I was so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly out. Can I try scoring <laughs> with you two someday? Sure. Go right ahead. Can we please drop the whole scoring thing? Anyways, we wanted to ask you something. How's it been over here? Did a girl called Rise Kujikawa show up? Can you sense anything? Rise Kujikawa? Hmm. You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge lately, huh? He's a baby. He doesn't know what he's saying. He heard someone else say it. <laughs> I'm a pretty shabby bear. Soon, I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. That's not true. I can stay with you all? Okay, then we'll go look for something that'll help you search, like last time. I can't tell for sure, but I can kind of sense someone in here. I think I'll be able to find her. I just need some kind of hint. Uh, okay, so basically like the same thing that we did with um, Kanji. There's Gotta find more information. There's a lot of things I don't understand. Um, I got your back. Thank you very much. You're really kind, Sensei. I'll try even harder from now on. Teddy is doing his best to try and find his role in life. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Teddy. Hey. Boom, boom. We have the Star Arcana now. I'll be waiting here. Alrighty. Um, I gotta go ahead and take another break because the fifth and final hour of the stream is coming up soon. But when we come back, we're gonna go gather some more information about Rize and uh, send that info back to Teddy. So I will be right back, everybody. Give me just a few minutes once again.
Alrighty, we are back. Oh my god, Jelly. That little pretty mode, so cute. Okay. Let me go over here to the school. And then we gotta go to the practice building. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to go talk to... Literally, it says the chubby student. So, is this the chubby student? What? <laughs> in, in parentheses, it says chubby student. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, on this guide. Has Rize Kujikawa come back to the uh, place her family is from? I don't think I would have been really relaxing to move to a place you're not used to and have never been to before. Or maybe, did she used to live somewhere around here years ago? She couldn't have, could she? Oh hey, this is changing the subject, but would you mind listening to me for a moment? Oh. Oh no, you want a crystal radio. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, second floor. Second floor. Okay. Let's go up here. Yeah, the Pride Emotes launched today. Um, this version came out 2012. The original game came out, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, 2008. Okay, this is me. Chubby student, aka Rosette fan. <laughs> Why? This guide. Yeah, go. You could have just said Rosette fan, sir. <laughs> oh my god. Also, Imani, thank you so much for the uh, five months. Thank you so much. Uh, ask me anything you want. A real Rosette fan like me shouldn't be able to give you the minutes. Or, I'm sorry, not the minute. What? <laughs> my neatest details. Okay. If you want a status update. Uh, she's taking time off for a little R&R. &R. Her blog has some hints about why, but there's a lot of theories out there. As a fan, I'm devastated, but I guess there's not much I can do about it. If you want more up-to-the-minute info, shouldn't you be asking someone in the media or something? Maybe I'll send a letter, though, uh, through her fan club. Alright, so now we have to go to the shopping district. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've unlocked, I think, like, maybe six or seven of them today. Uh, but, yeah, if you keep watching some Twitch streams and whatnot, um, uh, you can get them pretty easily just lurking. Uh, and we have a whole month to do so, too, which is great. Oh, you're the boy from the other day looking for Rize? Sometimes she leaves the house without telling me. I hope she's okay. I've heard that some person with a camera has been wandering around recently. I think that person was called the Papa Rat or something. The people in this district try their best to get rid of that person, but he just keeps coming back. I heard that he's often at the floodplain. Alright, let's go over to the floodplain then. Yeah, but you're her legal guardian. It's fine. She's doing her best. Now we have to go talk to the kind man by the trees. Refresh old man. Uh, there ain't nothing to do in this town, don't you think? I agree. But you know, it's because this town's got nothing that you can really make out the stars at night. I never noticed how beautiful they were until I got here. I know you're from the city, so you best enjoy them too. Okay, where is the nice man by the tree? There you are. The paparazzi. I don't know about much about them, but I see the cameramen and like around here sometimes. They're obviously from out of town, so they've caught my eye. But now that you mention it, I haven't seen any today. It seems that they come here fairly often. Maybe you should return tomorrow. Okay, so... Now we have to return tomorrow, and uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, um, people today rode the scooter, did the daycare job. Um, you know what? We're actually going to go to the shrine because we're going to go look for Rize. So the more of a discount we can get from the fox, the better. So... Let's go do that. Here we go. I is the club manager of the basketball club. Uh, she's the one that said that we should ditch with her sometime from school. There's Red. We love you, Red. The fox looks at the operatory box and seems pleased. If rumors of the shrine's benevolence spread, more people may come to make offerings. 
Yay. We did it. Rank four. Oh no! Sorry, you typed S link, and Moobot thought it was a link. <laughs> um, what else can we do? Okay, no, let's spend time with Nanako. I was just curious. Isn't ready to advance yet? Oh, maybe just because we haven't spent enough time with her. I don't know if we need to level up our understanding again or what. I'll have to look it up again. Oh, it's all good. It's just a uh, bot being very picky. <laughs> Yo! Morning, Andrew Kuhn. Looks like it's going to rain all day today. They said that it's not going to last until tomorrow, so I don't think the fog's going to appear, but... Uh, are you worried, too? Yeah. The stuff on that's on the Midnight Channel lately is pretty rough, but we can't get impatient. We need to make sure we're ready and rescue her before things get completely out of hand. Why do they all have the same umbrellas? I guess there's not too many stores in the town. Maybe they all get them from Juness or something. <laughs> Alright, let's go into town. Uh, actually, first, let's accept the new request from the Fox before I forget. Um, and then I have to go to the floodplain. Go back here. Yosuke, please sell some original umbrellas. Yeah, he keeps it uh, simple. Also, Kane, thank you so much for the subscription, Kane. The fox brought you an Emma with a wish written on it. It's written in large, uneven letters, probably by a child. God, please give me some friends. Yoshitaka. It seems the fox wants you to fill the wish written on the Emma on its behalf. Could it be thinking that if... Oh my god, the thunder. Uh, if wishes are fulfilled, then more money will be put in the operatory box? If you fulfill the wish on the Emma, your relationship with the box may grow. Yes. Duh. Why would we say no? Alrighty. So now we gotta go over to the floodplain. Does it work when it's raining? So wait, what day is it today? It's Saturday. Okay, yeah. So he should still be here. It seems like it's just dependent on the day, not so much the weather. Oh, there we go. Oh, you came to ask about Rize Kujikawa. You're looking for information about Rize too? Well, how about this? Why don't we exchange information? The people in the shopping district are making it hard for me to do any information gathering. Um, so pick the first choice of... She's different than on TV. Okay. As I thought. To be honest, I used to do a little digging into Rosette's private life. I was surprised to discover she's totally different than on TV. You'd never recognize her in real life. Though, when you think of an idol, you should honestly just assume manufactured personality, too. You seem to know some other things about Rize. Maybe we should inquire further. Do you have any new information for me? Um, hold on. What do I do now? Uh, come back the next day, select the first choice trade information, pick the first choice again. Wait, what? That's weird. I already... The guide was saying that that's all I needed to get. Do I have to do all of them? Let me just make sure with another guide, maybe. Um, just to investigate. Unless... I think she's in this town. Let's just say she's stressed. Uh, or do we talk again and do the same thing? Actually, hold on. Because sometimes I want to fuck this up. Otherwise, I have to waste the whole day. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Come back the next day. Go to the floodplane. Get the first choice. The first choice again. Huh. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's look at this other one. It will give you info that you need. This person says the same thing too. I don't understand. Okay. Let me say that she's stressed, I guess. Or even though I just did this. So she's worried about something, huh? Maybe you have to do something with 
No, actually, she's probably just worried about the TV coverage regarding the shocking hiatus. I'd heard that Rosette was getting tired of her made-up personality. The real me and the different me who has to act like an idol. She couldn't stand living two lives anymore or something like that. Well, you didn't give me anything new, but thanks for the information. I can at least turn this into something. If you put together the information the paparazzi gave you, it seems that Rize was acting as a manufactured personality. Oh, okay, the guy just... Maybe this was for Persona 4 specifically and not Golden. All right, anyway, we did it. She was uh, surely worrying about her true self. You seem to have gained some insight regarding Rize. She reports to Teddy. Okay, well, let's go and report to Teddy. Um, here we go. Let's go. Actually, before we do... Uh, no, I don't have anything new to sell, actually. So we should be good. Let's talk to them. Right when I thought the buzz around town was over, now an idol's coming back home? Even in a country town like this, people do like to talk. And everyone's talking about the same thing. There are all kinds of different people, so why would that be? See what the girl has to say? La la, rain, rain, fall, fall, rainy days, hear the sound as it hits the ground. La la, rare materials may be found. Oh, that's right. Let me go here and uh, save. Great. Okay. Now let's go into the TV. Alrighty. Alright, I'm fired up. Let's see. Enter the TV. Yeah, let's go. That makes sense. Yeah, I should have assumed that there were some differences with the uh, foreign golden. And yeah, when I play Royal, I'll probably look up like a spoiler free guide and like follow it. Hey, Sensei. You look like you found some clues. Yeah, the fox uh, comes with us into the TV world. <laughs> Did you find out more about this girl, Rise chan? Uh huh. Her real self. I see. She's just like me the delicate, sentimental type. Then, hmm, ah, there's something out there. Is this it? Did I find her? Follow me. What is this place? It's all dark. Oh, like the kind you always find in resort towns. Oh, I think you're right. Uh, oh, but we don't have one. Our inn is not like that. <laughs> huh. So this is a strip joint, huh? Strip? Ah, ha, ha, I know what that is. It's the thing zebras have, right? Oh. Strip. Like a zebra, right? <laughs> right? So bright here. Even with the glasses on, my eyes hurt. Doesn't anyone get the joke? Okay, let's try one more time. Strip. It's something zebras have. <laughs> Can anyone check this thing up? Huh? Zebra? Uh, sorry, what are we talking about? I... I won't say it again. Let's hurry on. You have pinpointed Rize's location, and all that's left is to rescue her. You should prepare well to make sure the rescue operation goes smoothly. Our team is filling out now that Yuki-chan and Kanji are on board. Yeah, there were just a couple of us to start out with. Alright, let's get fired up. Alright. Sorry, Yosuke. You are not in my party today, okay? We're going in with Yukiko, Chie, and Kanji. Let's go over here. Uh, take off your armor, please. Oh, you can't. Okay. Well, that's okay. Oh. All he has is a folding chair. <laughs> um, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's go here. The gag winter outfit. Nah, we'll leave it like that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, change the. T I think. Can I do that on this menu or do I have to do it? 
I couldn't figure out how to do it here. I, I, I thought I had to do it in battle. Am I wrong? Uh, is it under equip? Uh, I'll just do it in battle. Real quick, before I forget. Oh, once I'm inside. Oh, okay. We'll do um, literally just one fight, and then we gotta stop. But uh, this has my favorite dungeon song. Uh, it's making my heart pound. Oh my god. An SOS. I love this dungeon, actually. Um, just as far as like the design and the aesthetics go. One of the few songs that um, has lyrics in it, too. Very brief lyrics, but still. Go inside and press one of the buttons. Oh, here we go. Change battle tactics. Ah, here we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, it was in the Vita version. Basically, you can play online with others in a sense where, like, you can ask for help with other players. Uh oh, this one's oh. Really strong. you know what? I just realized I forgot to change the difficulty. Um, I'll do that in a bit. So you can send out an SOS, it ain't going down. and um, this. people can respond to your help and give you, like, SP and whatnot, like, in the start of your... Uh, battle and you can also Don't help out other down. people too Now's our chance for a beat down. It's my turn. and there's kanji's all-out attack flexing nice. okay uh yeah why not let's get a full sweep ba -da -bum -ba. Oh, you never played the gold. Okay, sorry. Uh, yes, then it is a new feature of Golden. Um, basically, um, yeah, you can help out other people. Um, also, you can uh, each day you can press a button and see what other people did that day. Um, that way, you can like, you know, if you're kind of lost on what to do, it might give you some inspiration on where to go and everything which is pretty cool alrighty everyone but I feel like this is a really good stopping point um, when we come back tomorrow after we're done playing Animal Crossing we'll hopefully get through uh, the very end of Rize's dungeon I hope uh, thank you all so much for stopping by the stream tonight I'm gonna go ahead and send a raid on over to um, Spofy Spofy is doing a long stream today uh, specifically raising money for the Trevor Project, which is incredible. Uh, right now, she is doing, like, I think MS Paint stuff um, because she had a whole bunch of incentives for donations to um, draw stuff. So um, if y'all could say Arcade Raid, and preferably if any of you have one of the new Pride emotes, like any of them, um, you should put that in your message or just let any little rainbow or heart, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm going to do Pride Pog that I got from Ma Malia, Lady Haxor, today because it's so fucking cute and I love it. So have a great night, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow for more Animal Crossing and more Persona 4 Golden. Take it easy.